Oz is there waiting to be reached. Buzz Aldrin. Hello, dear friends. In today's video, you will learn about the most studied planet in the solar system, excluding Earth, of course, Mars. We'll share with you the most interesting facts about this planet that every person should know. If you haven't seen our videos about other planets, you can check them out by clicking the link in the upper right corner. Now, sit back comfortably and let's begin. In science fiction, there's hardly a book or movie where a planet appears more frequently than Mars. Did you know that in 1938, the radio version of Wells' The War of the Worlds in the US was believed to be true by many, causing mass panic? The popularity of the red planet is due to its proximity to Earth and various hypotheses about its similarity to our planet. Scientists have long speculated about the possibility of life on Mars, but as they say, science does not know. Mars formed simultaneously with the other planets of the solar system. Around 4.5 billion years ago, a giant cloud of interstellar gas and dust collapsed under its own gravity, forming a protoplanetary disk. Mars and other rocky planets formed in the inner part of this disk, while the gas giant planets formed in the outer part. Its name, the celestial body received back in ancient Rome in honor of the god of war, Mars, due to its bright red color resembling blood and fire. The earliest mention that has come down to us dates back to 1570 BCE, when ancient Egyptian astronomers first documented the planet as a wandering object in the night sky. Mars is the fourth farthest planet from the Sun and belongs to the terrestrial group of planets. It has a core, mantle, and crust. The core of the red planet consists of iron, nickel, and sulfur. It is surrounded by a silicate mantle and a crust composed of iron, magnesium, aluminum, calcium, and potassium. The diameter of Mars is 6,792 kilometers, which is about half the diameter of Earth. The circumference of the planet around the equator measures 21,326 kilometers. Thus, traveling at a speed of around 100 kilometers per hour, you could journey along Mars's equator in approximately nine days. The planet's mass is roughly 10% of Earth's mass. The surface area of Mars is about 144 million square kilometers, which is equivalent to the land surface area of Earth. The surface of Mars is mainly composed of basalt, the prevalence of iron oxide in Martian soil gives it its distinctive red color. Like on Earth, Mars has valleys, deserts, mountains, and polar cap. The standout feature of Mars' surface is the dawned volcano, Olympus Mon. This is the tallest mountain in the solar system, standing 26 kilometers high from its base. It's named after Mount Olympus in Greece, which, according to myths, was the home of the Olympian gods. Mars rotates on its axis at roughly the same speed as Earth. Because of this, the duration of a day on these two planets is almost the same. One Martian day, called a Sol, lasts 24 hours and 39 minutes, just 39 minutes longer than a day on Earth. However, a year on the planet lasts 687 Earth days. As you probably know, the changing of seasons on the planet occurs due to the tilt of its axis. Mars' axial tilt is quite similar to Earth's. The red planet is tilted at an angle of 25.2 degrees, while Earth is tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees. This is why Mars experiences four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. However, each season on Mars lasts roughly twice as long as on Earth. This is because Mars takes almost two Earth years to complete one orbit around the Sun. The atmosphere of Mars is composed of 95% carbon dioxide, it exhibits noticeable seasonal pressure variations linked to the evaporation and freezing of its polar caps. On average, the atmospheric pressure on the Martian surface is 160 times lower than that at sea level on Earth. It's believed that Mars' atmosphere used to be much more favorable in the past, but it was gradually stripped away by solar winds. The climate on Mars is thought to have changed several times, possibly harboring the potential for life. The planet frequently experiences sandstorms, resulting in the formation of dunes and wind-eroded surfaces that resemble certain areas on Earth. A recent discovery confirmed the existence of vast reserves of water ice beneath the surface of the southern polar cap. Previously believed to primarily consist of frozen carbon dioxide, 
It turns out that the volume of water ice underneath its surface is so immense that it could cover the entire Martian surface in an 11-meter layer of water. Many scientists speculate that this was the case in the past. Millions of years ago, Mars' atmosphere allowed water to remain in liquid form, creating numerous rivers and possibly even oceans. Some geological features on the planet's surface support this idea, as they could have only formed in the presence of liquid water. In 2022, Chinese researchers provided evidence that water on Mars remained liquid for much longer than previously thought. The rover Zhurong discovered hydrated deposits and minerals in the Utopia Planitia, estimated to be around 750 million years old, indicating the presence of significant water on Mars during that time. Currently, Mars lacks a global magnetic field. However, there are magnetized regions in its core that suggest the planet once possessed a magnetic field. Mars has two natural satellites, Phobos and Deimos, meaning fear and dread, respectively. These names are derived from characters in Greek mythology, sons of Ares, the Greek god of war. These satellites are close to the planet, much like the moon is to Earth. According to studies, Phobos is gradually approaching Mars by two meters every 100 years, and if it breaks apart upon impact in millions of years, a ring of debris could form around the planet. Meanwhile, Deimos is slowly moving away from the planet, potentially leading to Mars losing both of its moons in a few tens of millions of years. Starting from the 1960s, humanity began sending automated interplanetary missions to Mars. The very first spacecraft sent were by the Russians. The Mars program, conducted from 1962 to 1973, involved the study of Mars and its vicinity. Although not everything initially planned was accomplished, such as obtaining surface photographs of Mars and various measurements of the atmosphere and magnetosphere, the efforts were pioneering for their time. The program achieved the first soft landing of a descent module on the Martian surface in 1971 and the first attempted transmission of images from the surface. In the US, the Mariner program conducted the first successful flyby missions to Mars in 1964 and 1965, in 1971, Mariner 9 became the first artificial satellite of Mars, conducting the first surface mapping. The U.S. Viking program launched two identical spacecraft, Viking 1 and Viking 2, in 1975, which conducted studies from Martian orbit and on the surface. One of their tasks was to search for life in soil samples. The automated Martian stations Viking were the first spacecraft to successfully operate on the surface of Mars, transmitting a large amount of scientific information, including images from the landing site. However, they didn't find signs of life. In the late 1990s, the Mars Pathfinder program sent the first rover Sojourner to Mars, followed in 2004 by the well-known rovers Spirit and Opportunity, which played a crucial role in planetary exploration. With modern technology, a flight to Mars takes between six to eight months. Mars has been extensively studied over the years. Within the next 20, 30 years, we might hear the words, the first spacecraft with humans on board has successfully landed on the surface of Mars. But that's a whole different story. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new and fascinating videos about space and the universe. Feel free to leave comments about what you like to see in the next video. Thank you and see you in the next video.